Hello and welcome. It's Michelle from Country Morning Creations and I'm here sharing my latest journal called Somewhere in Time. I want to encourage you to stay with me through this because I have a really, really exciting announcement I'm going to make at the end of this video about all of the digital kits that I've been using lately. So let's get right into this. Um, one of my favorite movies of all time is Somewhere in Time with Jane Seymour and Christopher Reeves. I love, love, love that movie, but I'm a time travel freak. Right now I'm watching all of the Outlander television shows and reading the Outlander books as well because those are all time travel. And of course, Doctor Who, I mean, I can go on and on. I love time travel books. So this was a great movie and when I saw the clocks in this digital kit, I thought, you know what, I want to do something around time. And so I've called this book Somewhere in Time. And let me tell you about the cover because the cover to me is really super exciting. Um, first of all, I make my own covers, so I use hardboard. And then I create a rounded spine and I did do ribbing underneath of this, but this fabric, oh, this fabric is decadent. This is a linen that I got from fabricstore.com that is this just grungy, wonderful, it comes in this color, this is the natural color, and it's like butter to work with. It is amazing. So I will have that link below to this linen, but they have lots of other linens. That's about, that's all they sell is just linen. Uh, but I washed it and it came out beautifully. It even got grungier with washing. So I love that. And then I've decided that books should not be blank on the back. So I have added, um, this was some embossing that I did. And this is a little gear and a set a hand for a clock and one of the tickets from the kit and you can see here that again I did the ribbing on the spine and I did a little grunging on it but the cover to me is what is so exciting this is a true mixed media cover so it has your metals it has papers it has bling it has flowers, it has all kinds of things. And that's what makes this a mixed media cover. Um, I started out on the base layer and there actually is a whole, whole video on how I made this cover. It's not start to finish. I kind of quit early and came back and did a little bit more when I after I finished it. But if you want to see how the whole thing was made, I'll link that video below. But to kind of go over what I have here, Again, I did some embossing underneath, and then this is this gorgeous lace that's across here. Um, I have these clock hands and metal gears. This is a Tim Holtz book plate. And I'm gonna bring this up a little bit because I don't know if you can see this, but I added beads, and then these little stones, they're not really diamonds, are actually four prong set. So this is not just something that has been glued down. I used really good quality stuff on this. And of course, that's a Tim Holtz butterfly. So a lot of my stuff is Tim Holtz. This is a Tim Holtz plate that says, dream as if you'll live forever. And then this, and so a lot of this is printed out, uh, the tickets and the tags and this little piece were all printed out, and this clock, of course, were all printed out from this digital kit as well as, um, like I said, I used some Tim Holtz items. So I'm in love with this cover and I think it's spectacular. It is 120 pages front and back and it is also a hollow back spine. I'll show you that in a second here. I left lots, of, I did tons of sewing in this and these are actually from some tags that I made so this is not permanent, but I did do lace and there's a couple of really pretty, and I'll show these better in a minute, some really pretty, uh, these are just paper clips that I have some stuff on it, and it's shut with just some good old grungy coffee dyed seam binding. So let's get into the inside. And this journal, I have made it come stuffed. So, whoops spilled my cup and that is why I have a sippy cup in my room. I've spilled too many glasses of water in here. 
So first off, I'm going to actually move this way over here. In the inside, I have two envelopes that are full of all kinds of goodies. So this one has things like um, stamps and tickets in it, and there's just a ton of those. And then this one has extra goodies that I had printed out some of the pieces, and so you can see that like that's a little book plate, and I have butterflies and tabs and tags and things like that. So those are all in this envelope. Then, if that wasn't enough, I made four sheets of stickers for you. So these first two are see-through. They're on that clear matte sticker paper. And then these two are on matte white sticker paper as well. So I'm gonna just set that aside so we can get into the journal. All of this is uh, from a kit, and I will tell you more about this kit later, but most of this is from one kit, some of this is from two different kits. But I will tell you about that in a little bit because that's what the exciting announcement is. I've used lots of coffee dyed paper. When I coffee dye my paper, first of all, I use an acid neutral paper by Hammer Mill. And this is a heavier weight, it's 28 pounds, so it's not as flimsy, it's a little bit heavier weight. I really love this for writing on. And then I acid neutralize the coffee as well with baking soda, which I do have another video on all of that as well. I've used, uh, I do about a two-third to one-third, two-thirds just plain coffee dyed paper to about one-third uh, extra book pages to keep things interesting. So we start off with some Edith Holden and then I was inspired. Nick the Booksmith created a lined paper with a little spot on it that you could do things. So you could put one of your stickers in there. You could write numbers in there. You could do little things. So I included some lined paper this time. I normally don't do lined paper, but I've heard a lot of feedback from people that they do like lined paper. So I thought it doesn't hurt and it looks really pretty. This is a Tim Holtz book plate that I've made and it has stamps and um, tickets and a beautiful tag and then this is another piece from this and this could just be decorative or whatever and then a journal card and this is genuine so as much as possible I think everything I've used in here is genuine vintage this is vintage French music that I got from Monahan's paper so I'll also include Monahan's link down here as well and some of the stuff I got from Susie at Paper Paper Harbor Company or Paper Harbor Co as she shortens it to. Of course, I do a five hole pamphlet stitch. I feel like that is really important to really make sure everything is secured so each signature is sewn in separately. I don't do the where you sew all the signatures at one time. Never felt comfortable with that, so I just stick with my good old thing. Oh, and I wanna show you the top here. So this is what I was talking about, hollow back binding. So this, when it's closed, you'll see the signature goes into the spine, and when it's open, it does this. And this is a mock headband. I found some stuff that will work like a mock headband. So that's not a real headband. I've not personally sewn that. And then there's a little bit of cheesecloth sticking out. But what this allows this to do is no matter where you open this book, it will lay flat for you, which makes it wonderful for journaling. So again, um, this is more of that French paper, and this is a pretty stuffed journal. I usually make my journals fairly plain, and I've tried to keep lots of writing space, but I couldn't help myself. I just stuffed this to the gills, and you'll see that here in a minute. I love these round pockets, so I made, so I put together these round pockets. In this one, we have another clock, a bingo card. So these are just basically journal cards. This is an envelope that I actually didn't seal, so you could write in that. And then this is my favorite thing. I have never really played with embossing powder. And this is, I made three tags that are in here that are all embossed. This one is the pink and the gold together. And I am, this is going to happen a lot more in the future. I love how this turned out. But it's perfectly blank on the back and it is just made, it's just put on cardstock. 
So I have that. We'll put all that back in there. And then I also did this more in a traditional, I have signature covers for every signature. So they're all different. And again, these are from a couple of different kits from the same person, and each signature has the lace on the front of it. This was a page that was a freebie in the group of the people who do this. And then this is the first of two altered paper clips, and I did this bead dangle. I actually have a whole video on how to do all of this. Maybe I'll link that below as well. Um, so if you're interested in making your own of these, I definitely have that on video. And I'm gonna put this back on. There's a paper bag, and inside of this is, again, another journaling card. More of that lined paper. This is from Paper Harbor Co. from Susie. She has fabulous stuff, and I loved the pink of that paper. And then we get over here to the other side of that paper bag. I've put another journaling card in there, and this is a little tuck spot that has an, two more journaling cards. And then I took... What I love about this kit is the postcards come already put together, which makes them then, you can use this to journal in, but I decided to leave them to, stuck together, so that makes a little notebook, so you have a little bit of extra writing space there. And again, plenty of blank space. This lace is extra deep, and I didn't want it sticking out so far, so I've made a tuck spot here, so Another clock, another small journaling card, and a tag, and those all just tuck right into that spot. And I've left all the strings, so of course if you are not fond of strings, my husband has a pet peeve about strings, and he calls them Irish pennants, and he cuts them off of everything. But So you are more than welcome to cut those off. Again, French paper from Monahan's. This is another little tuck spot. I simply took this clock and made it a tuck spot. There are some tags and then again, another envelope. I left it open so you could totally write in it if you want. And so I put all that in there, more blank papers. So this is out of, this is an actual dictionary page. This is not a reproduction of a uh, secretary's desk that I have, secretary's desk book I guess is what you would call it, and it uh, is the one for time, so I don't know if you can see this, but time is here, and this definition is so long it goes from here all the way back down to here where it starts with time clock. So clearly time is something we don't really understand, and I simply printed over top of it and turned this into a tuck spot that has another one of these little booklets in it as well that I made with the postcards. So again, some genuine vintage papers. This is the middle signature and, nope, this is the fourth signature, sorry. This was some lace that I received on a package somewhere along the line and I'm sorry I don't remember who gave it to me but I thought it was just gorgeous with those roses. So I had to put that in there. And then this is another one of those circle pockets. And again, I've stuffed it with another clock. And again, all of these you can write on the back. And this is all ephemera from that same kit. And this is the pink one that I did with, and I added the butterfly and the little bit of bling onto this tag. So we'll just tuck all of this back in here. And again, this is some more vintage paper from Paper Harbor Co. And then this is what's called mulberry paper, and I got this off of Amazon, and it comes in all these gorgeous colors. Love that pink, thought it was perfect with this. Middle of the signature, again, there's more of that. This is actually a copy. Um, I scanned some papers that I got from Monahan's Papers, so this is actually a copy of a, one of the pages I've received from her. So this is not a digital, and I may make a digital kit out of this. If you would be interested in learning more about that, leave me a comment, because I might make a digital kit out of some of my French papers. This is my other uh, dangle paper clip that I made. 
I love these. I think these turned out gorgeous. The colors are just gorgeous. I, you know, maybe you can tell. I'm a little bit excited about this particular journal. I think it turned out great. I put a lot of time and effort into it. So here are just some tags and again, another envelope that I've left open. So you are, you could certainly seal that back up and put stuff in it. And then last signature, much of the same. This is actually from a book that I have that I've taken apart. This is a belly band. And again, this is another scan of another paper and it's just blank on the back. So there's lots of writing space and that just tucks right into that belly band. And then a doily and the middle, and then this is the gold tag. I know I'm going to the, to the back first. This is the gold tag that I made and I added a butterfly again to that and this has a butterfly with uh, some cheesecloth behind it. Now these are not the same as the pieces that are on the cover. Those are four prong set, like jewelry set, stones these are just some, a little bit of bling that i've added and then this these are all blank on the back they're printed on manila card stock so again lots of room for writing and there's the other there's another page from that book that i have and that's the end and you can kind of see it on the back i have my little country morning creation sticker here and that is the back. So I hope that you have enjoyed this flip through, but now for the exciting announcement. So Dot Studio Designs, which is where all of these came from, they are in Poland and there's some weird tax laws. So they kept having to close their shop only for a little bit at a time and I talked with Isabel this morning. They are changing the name of their shop and moving their Etsy shop, so now it will be open permanently. They are changing the name to Dot's Inspiration Shop, and that's what it already is on Etsy. So I'm going to link that below. They will be closing their Dot Studio Design shop on Etsy. It's gonna go away, and they're moving all their digitals over to this Dot's Inspirational Shop, Inspiration Shop. And they call it dots because they love dots and I love polka dots too. Maybe that's what drew me to their work in the first place. So anyway, I'm going to link their shop below. Go in, favorite the shop so that as soon as they start loading those digitals again, you can start buying them. And they plan to get those all up during this week. So that is super exciting. No waiting until August. Originally, we were gonna to have to wait until August now to get any more digitals from them. They will have unlimited digitals. You'll be able to buy all the kits that you want from them. I'm also going to link their Facebook page below. You definitely wanna join that because that has tons of freebies. And that's where they kind of preview what they're doing. So that's great. The other thing is Isabel makes journals. Take a look when you get to her Etsy shop. Look at all of her journals. They are just gorgeous, simply stunning. So maybe you'll find a journal when you head over there too. So that was my exciting announcement. We are no longer gonna have to wait to get digital kits from their now Dots Inspiration Shop. We're not going to have to wait anymore. It's gonna take a while, so there is going to be a little bit of time between now and the end of this week where things are transitioning. Be patient, and they will be getting stuff up. So I'm so excited, you can't believe it. Love, love, love their digitals. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this flip through. You're excited about my announcement, and I hope I've inspired you to be creative today.